Larry, I'm, I'm, I'm particular about the quality of players in the team. Raw is pleased with the quality, but this team, do you think they have the hunger, the pride, the determination, the passion to, to transform football in our country? Straight answer, no. Tell me why. Why not? Last two Nations Cup, we have not qualified. There must be a reason for that. Or are you going to put it at the doorstep of the last two coaches, um, Keshi Field, uh, and then um, who else? Uh, uh, Sandy Olise, combination of Olise, Sia, Sia, and all of them. So, um, I, I don't think it's entirely down to coaching. On the 17 field to qualify, on a 20, on a 20 field to qualify as well. There's something wrong. There's something systemic wrong with our football. You don't think so? Uh, it, it's it's paradoxical that uh, uh, the last two under-17s did very well in, in, in world, and you thought, oh, the, the class of Osime Nwakali will translate, and then the class before that will also translate the Kilechi Hiana Chos. There's abundance of talent coming through, and you can see that in the likes of um, the young Aston um, star, what's his name again? Um, Alexi, yeah. Alexi will be yeah. Kilechi Hiana Chos. There's an abundance of... Kilechi Nwakali actually got a loan move from Arsenal to <laughs> Maastricht, Maastricht yesterday, oh, and wow. all of that, there's an abundance of talent but it just seems there's something systemic either from the nff portion either from or, I, I, I really or, maybe, or what if it's just bad luck because sometimes there are times things don't, don't just work out the way you plan because i'm still shocked by the flying eagles mm. fact that okay this is a team that hasn't conceded any goals playing but they came down here to lagos and it happened yeah. they scored but the other recallers and somehow somehow it you're just right. didn't click you're right for for the under 20s i could say bad luck yeah because they had not even lost any game exactly. prior to that and then yeah. they come to lagos and, and lose on a rainy day but for the others you will think that there, there, there is a problem we've not qualified as i said for nations cup back to back now and this is a world cup where you have zambia in your team you have algeria you have cameroon you will think that for you to actually qualify from that group, you have to get points on the road. And we are not, we, we, we've not been playing very, very well. The last game against um, Egypt that was competitive that we played, we played against Egypt. Egypt came to, to, to Nigeria, yeah. got a deserved 1 1 draw. We went away and we, we lost that game. And it means we're not playing at the Nations Cup. So yeah. for me, I think we have to actually do better. Yeah. I'm hoping that we roll in the team now and with the support he has from Saliso and Amak. Pakabo, Imam Pakabo, yes. they will be able to tweak it around and um, our football will be for the better. But I'm scared. The group we are in, yeah, it, 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 it's a tough one, really. Yeah. Cameroon, Algeria. It's okay, very tough. okay, Larry. Yeah. That's, 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 okay, MTFL now, now, right? Quickly. The scheduled games, Larry, um, Warrior Wolves, they will be biting themselves for not winning that one. But Imba will travel that one point. You're, you're, very, you're very correct. Matter of fact, that game rested on three points. Imba needed that three points yeah. to. To close the gap, mm -hmm. yeah. Worry Wolves in there are three points to stay to shoot up from relegation. As yeah. it stands, if Worry Wolves doesn't um, take it, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't, if they don't attach seriousness to the rest of mm. the games, Worry Wolves may just go on relegation he because they are just above um, Ikorodu United at the bottom of wow. the log wow. uh, and they're struggling, struggling at the bottom of the log. So. Um, well, Warriors can only blame themselves. How do you go from playing in the continent this season to hmm. struggling for uh, to struggling against relegation? Larry. Administration is one problem. Hmm. But they sold, they almost sold the players. almost half of their players last season. Did I, am I saying half? They sold like 12, um, 15 of their very, very good players okay. last season. Yes. And the likes of Abouazis, Joseph Osaja, he left. And so many. Golan Salami well, left. Yeah. Um, their captain, what's his name? Tallest. Uh, Azubike. 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 Azubike left. Mm. Their goalkeeper. Almost everybody left. Mm. So who, 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 who's remaining? And now they're battling relegation. I know. Okay. So, we will not battle. We will not battle <laughs> to, go, to go on this break. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion. Don't go anywhere. いや、いや、終了。出てきた、見た。出てきた。いや、いいゲームでしたね。最後の最後のレッツパラを最後のスマッシュアルディージャ。いや、いいゲームでしたね。
これカップディナーですかねそうですねいやーいい選手ですねやっぱりね<笑>多分言葉は通じないんですよ全然<笑>いやー心から拍手を送りたいと思いますいやーそれは人間的にも成熟したんですよいや本当ですよ素晴らしいね今一人だけですもんねお面とこ寄ってるのはねなんかあのー、今年の夏はいろんな大会があっていろんな育成の場面をね見させていただきましたし、ね、18から15そして12も見ましたね、はい、そしてまあ春先というかアンダー16のね大会に乗らせてもらいましたけどあま,した、ねまあ、その時にはマリというチームにも心を奪われましたが、はい、すごかったですねマリ今日はもうこの大会自体で心を奪われましたね本当ですね素晴らしいですねでもやっぱバルセロナの世界最高ですねいやそれは本当にそう言われる意味がわかります、はいまあ、この世代でもやっぱそれは見せてくれましたし、えーまあ、大宮は本当に悔しいと思うんですよ、多、う、分、ん、大宮の子供たちは。これだけ本当に悔しい思いをしてました。Look closely. We might just be having the next line of Messi. Very true, and that's it, it tells you what, what, what it, it tells you a lot about Nigerian football and how systemic football should be. Mm. Almost all teams should have feeder teams, not just feeder teams, or under 19s, 17s, 15s, and under 12. And you saw that under 12, and you saw them learning the um, the, the, the secrets of victory mm. and the pain of defeat. And right, you saw under right. 12s of Barcelona com consoling the Japanese and telling them take it easy, don't mm. worry, and all that. And that's what football should teach you at a very young age. Imagine those lads getting to under by the time they're under 18, under 17, wow. they, they, they will be very fantastic for their club. Some of them will not make it in football, but those who make it will eventually um, go on to achieve greater things. And then he begs the question, Aqua, Aqua United, where's the under, 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 under 12? My <laughs> student stars, where's the under 12? Cecilia, your bundle insurance, where's, where's the under 12? Do you understand? Your entire salam, your, where, is your, where are the under 12s? Where are the oh. under 17s? Where are the under oh, no. So um, it's systemic, really. I because know. if we have under 12, uh, we can actually uh, compete at the World, uh, World Soccer Challenge. I mean, it's a big one. This year was hosted in Tokyo, and Barcelona won it by a long go. Now, cool. Rangers MFM, yes, I mean, the, the game just ended. The, right the game now. just ended. Rangers actually oh. picked three points, and they have joined Wikipedia at the log of the table. Um, Wikipedia oh. picked a point yesterday against. Yeah. They, they should have won that game. Mm. Uh, God, you know, but they scored the 17th goal of the season, it must be said. They yes. had, um, the, 17th, the, top scorer. 17th, so it's still the top scorer. Okay, yes, Falabi is still on 13 goals. Mm. But as it stands, he's, he's six goals shy of Umfa Udon's 23 goal mark. Mm. So he can yeah. see, he has about four, six games to, to catch up with um, Umfa Udon and then see if he can. Larry, can, Larry, can let's, let me just get this out of you. Okay. I mean, which will be the biggest story? Uh, Rangers winning the league after a very long time, or Wiki Torres hmm. winning it for the very first time. Both. Both. If Wiki, if Wiki <laughs> wins it, if Wiki wins it, no one saw that coming. If Rangers win it, no one saw that coming. Yeah. But Rangers will be more sens sensational because Rangers are a traditional team. Rangers are a team that have been there, done that. They've been to the continent in the late 70s. I grew up on Rangers, shooting stars, chess, noises, levens, united, abella, big. Okay. So Rangers is, will be sensational. Yeah. Be sensational. Okay, okay. We'll quickly at the papers right now. Our yeah. sporting son, Ian Nacho sacks Bonnie and Nasri because they left the club. <laughs> Ian Nacho did just sack Bonnie. He didn't just Sack Bonnie and Nasri, he sacked Edin Dzeko. Um, Jovetic. He sacked It tells you that we, we have the talent. Um, if, if a club like Man City can allow Nasri to go, yeah. Bonnie, Wilfred Bonnie to go. I say, Yenacho yeah, is yeah, going start. nowhere. I say, Yenacho, yeah, stay. You have a future. Matter of fact, after Aguero, you are the next striker we know. Yeah. Bad, mm. bad Nolito. It then tells you okay. that um, that guy has a bright future. Okay, so let's, let's move on from Yana Cho having the sucking touch to uh, Sporting Life. And uh, yeah, uh, Larry, several transfer stories. Um, I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk about which one actually uh, was, the, was the most uh, sensational uh, transfer. Uh, David Lewis going to Chelsea, Wilshire going to Bournemouth, Nasri to Sevilla. I mean, um, Echejile going, leaving Monaco, yeah, going to Belgium. Ledge. Um, it, 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 he, saw a red card, he saw a red card yesterday. That's not a step down. That's opportunity to play first team football. Yeah. Um, judging by the fact that Sergio already in Monaco is not allowing him to, to, to play. But Wilshire going to Bournemouth, a lot of people have seen it at a step down because of the high level he played all through Arsenal. But injury, so it means if he gets to Bournemouth, he may likely play under Eddie Howe. David Lewis mm -hmm. back to Chelsea. David Lewis back to Chelsea. I think that was desperation. Um, mm. Chelsea.
Chelsea yeah. wanted a defender. They went for Chiellini. They didn't get him. They went for all the other defenders. Koulibaly, Conte yeah. and Koulibaly. Conte is someone who builds his team from the defense. And immediately they didn't get that. Well, when your available is not, when your desirable is not yeah. available, what do you do? Your, 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 you, you then pick whoever yeah. is available and David Luiz okay. was available. That yeah, what it says is that, that unfinished business. But Larry, thank you so much Always for coming. Always a pleasure to be here. Yeah. You got us <laughs> thinking about the under 12. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. Many thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tayo Salam. I'm Austin Okonak. We'll be back again tonight to talk some more sports. But on everything you do, remember to keep talking sports. Bye for now.